Welcome to physics. This is a video to help you with vector addition. So the first thing we're going to start off with is a compass. You have north, east, south, and west. So N, E, S, and W. Uh, these are going to be the compass points for the entire video. I'm going to leave the graph in the background, but the points marking the compass will go away. So let's start off with some easy ones. We have 3 meters east plus 2 meters east equals, so you just add 3 and 2, and that gives you 5 meters east. Then you have 3 meters plus 2 meters east and west. The west is going in the negative direction, so you do 3 minus 2, which gives you 1 meter east. You do the same thing with up and down, so 4 meters north plus 1 meter north, add them up, and you get 5 meters north. 4 meters north plus 1 meter south, add them up, and you get 3 meters north. So hopefully that was pretty easy, so now let's try something a little bit more complicated. Now we have 2 meters east plus 3 meters south. Since they're at a right angle to each other, you can't just add them up. You can't do 3 plus 2 or 2 minus 3 or anything like that. You probably already know how to solve this since we did projectiles. So first we make a triangle, you have 2 meters east and then 3 meters south. I highly recommend that you add them in order because that will keep the directions in order. And you'll see what I mean at the end of this. So you have 2 meters on the top, 3 meters on the side. I labeled the hypotenuse with C, it's a right angle. And then we have theta is the angle that we're looking for. So to get the hypotenuse C, you do C squared equals 2 squared plus 3 squared. So Pythagorean theorem. Take the square root, and we get 3.6 meters. That's our hypotenuse. We are not done yet because a vector has a direction. So to get theta, you do tan inverse. Every time you have both sides, you can do tan inverse to get the angle. And you want the opposite over the adjacent of the angle you're looking for. Since we're looking for the top left, the opposite is 3, and the adjacent is 2. So tangent of theta, sorry, tan inverse of 3 over 2 equals theta. So theta is 56.3 degrees. Make sure your calculator is in degree mode because if it's in radians, you're going to get the incorrect answer. And we are still not done. So now we have compass points. We have north, east, south, and west. North was the top, east was the right, south is the bottom, and west is the left. Since we have those, we have a further step to get the direction. So our full vector is 3.6 meters at 56.3 degrees, and the direction is the, uh, the second direction of the first direction. So we have south of east. South came second, so you do south of the first direction east. So hopefully that problem wasn't too bad for you. You should know most of it from doing projectiles. This unit, we're going to take this a little bit further now. We're going to get even more vectors added up all at once. So we have a little more complicated problem of 2 meters east plus 4 meters west plus negative, or sorry, plus 5 meters south plus 2 meters north. So now we have every single direction on the compass added up. And these could be in any order, but remember, just add them in order. So we're going to take our first two. I pair them up so that all the x directions are together in order, and all the y directions are together in order. So these are already paired up. You have your 2 and 4 together, which are east and west, and your 5 and 2 together, which are north and south. We'll take the first two. And 2 and 4, since they're both in the x direction, you have positive 2 minus 4, because 4 is west, which gives us 2 meters west. And then you add it to the combination of the other two. So 5 and 2, you have negative 5 plus positive 2 gives you 3 meters south. Now we're going to add those two. So we make our triangle since they're at right angles to each other. So the 2 meters comes first because that was the first one in order. 
and then you put the 3 meters on the end of that. So you have 2 meters on the top, 3 meters on the left. The C is your hypotenuse, it's a right angle, and theta is the one we're looking for. The angle that you look for is always the one where you started the triangle, where you started the first vector. That's the angle you look for. So to get C, the hypotenuse, we do Pythagorean theorem again. So C equals the square root of 2 squared plus 3 squared, which gives us 3.61 meters. And remember, we're not done because we need a direction. It's a vector. So theta is equal to a tangent inverse of the opposite 3 over the adjacent 2, which gives us 56.3 degrees. And we're still not done. There's still more to the direction. So it's the second arrow of the first arrow. And that's not in the original problem. That's in our triangle. So the second arrow was south. The first arrow was west. So we get south of west. So you may have noticed that all the numbers in this problem came out to be the same as the numbers in the last problem. That just happened to, to be like that. But if you notice that there's a key difference about them. This one is south of west. If we go back and look at the previous problem, the answer is south of east. Notice the difference between the two triangles. These are very different answers. So the direction at the end does make a huge difference. You will also not always get two and three for the size of your triangle. It just happened to be like that. I guess that was nice this time. So I hope that you are helped by this, and I hope that this isn't too hard for you. If so, please ask for help. We'll do lots and lots of problems in class.